welcome back to Bulletproof Mindset, where we help you bulletproof your mind through health, fitness, and entertainment. So in the first half of this episode, we actually talk about some sexual harassment that we used to receive in gyms and at raves, so be sure to tune in for that. And in the second half of this episode, this is where we talk about five fitness trends that need to die in 2023. So we hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So we are into February. So a whole very, month. very, very well, as you know, my OnlyFans just started at a fiver. <laughs> You might see James fucking deadlifting, but aye, naked. Aye, aye, but naked. I've got <laughs> We need to pay for this podcast somehow, man. I've not it's got enough clients to go and keep this place afloat. Just aye, yeah, there's, there's a lot of goes in there, a lot more goes in there. So, right, how, yeah. are you, how are you feeling about um, being over here? Do you still think it's the right thing? No, honestly, I. Do you, are you missing? Like being at Gym 24? No. Oh, no. Well, let's lay it on raw. No, 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 I'm no, I'm no, no missing it. Nah. Uh, nah, no missing it at all. I don't really like a busy gym environment, you know what I mean? So I don't I don't like training my clients in a busy gym environment. I don't like being in a busy gym environment. I don't like people talking to me while I'm training. Aye. So many reasons. I, I I have space to create content for clients now as well. Aye. Do you know what I mean? It's so much better. It's one thing I take for granted. Like and I can work. I can work when I'm not training clients. Aye. Whereas before I it's hard. Can I need to do stuff? Then yeah. Too many other people there. So you know, oh, I need to serve. Need to chat away. I know. Boring. <laughs> 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 no, like I. I I no, think there's a fine line with it. It's a good social skill to build on. Oh, it's a fantastic social skill to build on when you work in a busy gym. Like, it's like your social skills go through the roof compared to most people on, on the planet. Do you know what I mean? You're working with people who, I mean, really fitness fanatics to people who have never been in the gym before. You're working with them all. Even if you're not training them, they're there. They want to speak to you. They want to learn. Like, even if they know how to pay you. Do you know what I mean? See the see a new guy starting out, PT and guy or girl or whatever, would you have them go straight into a corporate gym still, you think still that's a good approach for them? Or would you say to them try and find your niche in a in a semi private gym? So what for a PT starting? I think they should start in like a corporate gym. Aye. Definitely. I think they should learn think so. learn the tricks of the trade. Like if I didn't do that then I wouldn't know what I know now. Mm-hmm. I think starting in a place like this, but I mean I, I don't know, like I've seen people that you see people on Instagram and that and they started in places like this mm-hmm. or smaller gyms and they're they blow up straight away because they're straight away they were able to do what they do. Personally, I think you probably need to build up unless you've got great social skills already. Yeah. Unless you come from a background of chatting to people, different people, the public all day, mm-hmm. then if you've already got that background, you don't need that background. I say that's what that builds you. And obviously, it builds you a client base as well. Uh-huh. Like I didn't really have many, many people I knew well, especially in my show. So I need to build up there. I need to build up over here as well. And when you're in a corporate gym, it's a lot easier to build that up. Aye. But it's a lot harder to be yourself. Uh, I think there's definitely... I've never worked in a, a pure gym or a busy JD gym, like that sort of thing, where there's like... It's, it's all right, that team. <laughs> fucking <laughs> freezing, man. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking <laughs> freezing. His face, he's just pulled... Um, drink my cup of tea there. We've had that. I think we made that cup of tea about an hour ago. Oh no, watch it was still warm. <laughs> you try and get a sponsor with Sports Direct. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sponsor me, please. Sponsor me. Um, put, put my leggy ball. I've never, I've never, paid, I've never worked in those environments, but I don't know. I'd like to think it's definitely a lot easier. Like you've got a footfold of three thousand, four thousand, five thousand members coming through that door. You need what twenty clients to give your books full, fifteen clients maybe, um, mm-hmm. to make a decent income. Mm-hmm. Um, is that really hard to pick up in that environment? I don't think so. No. But if anyone's watching and you, you like the challenge otherwise... <laughs> you're like, well, uh, I'm fucking doing that. Uh, That's uh, me right now, you fucking bum. No, but I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do. I'm no, saying it's know, easy I to know. have your books full in those, uh, in those places. Uh, um, that's why they absolutely rape you and rent and fucking hours and stuff. Whenever you need to move, you need to move. Unless you've gained a good online clientele, then it's going to always be hard to move. I always see the PT advert come up, it's like um, one-to-one's not dead and it's a guy that works in a pure gym and he's like selling his mastermind course or some bullshit shit like that. Um, but I, I don't think, I don't think like... One-to-one is definitely not dead. Nah, I love one. I think I'll do, for me to keep it up, like upgrading my coaching experience, if I go fully online just now, which I think I could have a, a decent sustainable business online, but... Mm. I'm capped. I will probably not learn any more other than systems and processes. Nah, you would need just I'll never to be a better business people, instead of a better coaching coach. Um, I think there's an element in that, but I think one to one has to be the bread and butter of what I do over the next five, ten years. 
and maybe I'll be in a position where I step back and I go right I'm going to home off on one to one now and I'm going to focus more on bigger projects and all that sort of stuff like open days, seminar days, talks, that's, what, that's where I would like to go with my, my coach we were talking about this the other day, aye, aye, aye. Um, can you see yourself talking in front of a crowd of people? Does it, does it, does it, does it not? No, nah, no. Nah. Even if it was like PTs? I'm thinking you need to get to a, you need to get a, to a, a you're com- really confident yourself. Exactly. As long as you're confident in yourself and you're, you're do- you've done your homework, then it's just like talking in front of anybody. Aye, it's like you know what the, I mean? the imposter syndrome, I think, would be the hardest oh, thing. No, that's right, yeah, no. 100%. The hardest thing. 100%. Um, you know what so I mean? Like, you're like, I'm, I need to be more knowledgeable than these people. Aye. If I'm no more knowledgeable than these people, I can't start talking to them. So you need to believe that you are more knowledgeable than those people you're speaking to. Aye, true. Do you know true. what I mean? True. So, you're... This is your second podcast, so you started with a cup of tea. You must slowly convert me to like. I like a cup drinks. of tea. I like a cup of tea. I've never seen like I've only seen you drink cups of no. tea in the last two weeks. <laughs> I wonder why. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Cam's been doing mellows me out, uh, nice and t- in the nice and tame. But um, do you think you'll be a coffee person? No, 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 huh? no, 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 no. I, I like like I, what's in a cup of tea? Like 30, 40 milligram of caffeine. Don't know. Shit bag material. That's enough, though. That's enough. You don't need anyone that. Like you don't, Come on, no, you don't. They need, need to fucking insult me like no, that. No, you don't need any more than that. So I, I asked James to pick up milk in the meal because I was actually rattling. I was like, I need my coffee this morning. But you don't. I was, had four coffees. No, no, I, I didn't really. I was just. It was a joke I was making. No, no it was not. No, it was not. There is none. No, it was not. <laughs> right, okay, maybe it was not. But I need to stop moving because <laughs> you'll, you'll be like, ah, take your cup. <laughs> Try it, not you saying that this way, you bastard. No, but I mean for the cup for the podcast. Alright, yeah, I know, I know. Um, it's not wrong me having four cups of coffee before ten o'clock in the day. No, oh, that's a the first one doesn't that's count. A, no, you you need to. Uh, uh, first cup of coffee doesn't count. I'll give you your first cup of coffee. Right, that's just a normal. That's just, just a standard. Nice. Oh, feels good. Right, so what's the need for a second? Hey? Was it was it need for a second? I'll tell you why. This is what Addiction. No, 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 no. Addiction. No. I'll tell you, well, I, I don't know. Like, ah, so, yeah, it is, it is. No, but see, when I finish my first cup of coffee, I get a wee bit sad. I'm not even kidding, like, I'm drinking my coffee in the morning. No joke, this is every single morning for the past couple of years. I've back to back to my coffee. Like, as <laughs> soon right. as I've finished it, the kettle's on again, <laughs> and I'm I'm having another coffee. And see, like, because I'm loving it, like, I generally do love the taste of that first cup. Nothing... Nothing, you will never fucking beat me on this. Uh, you'll never change my mind in this. That your first cup of coffee is tastes so fucking good. I know so I'm drinking I, it and I, then I, I'm like, I've used to drink coffee and used to go, but my mind's mm-hmm. my mind's mm-hmm. distracted usually in the morning when I'm doing like other stuff. And then I finish it and then I go, oh, what's my cup of coffee? And I pick it up and I go, oh fuck. Mm-hmm. And then I go make another one. Yeah, right. But there's a there's a fine line with coffee for me, like where. You fine tell. line, six a day. <laughs> it, is six about, a, it is about cup five, six. Cup, six. cup That's five, not max. cup six. It starts tasting a wee bit funny. Aye. And I'm just like, mm, that's too much now. No, I pushed through that before and like fucking went rattling. Aye, it's just aye. been like struggling I, to breathe. I, I think when I, when I went to Holland for the rave, I think I had like 10 vodka red bulls. Oh my God. And they were p- pouring double vodkas, but they were pouring a full red bull into the drink. Aye. So I had maybe eight, eight to 10. It's a wee bit bloody. So I had 10 Red Bulls and maybe 10 hour, so one an hour. Yeah, that's mad. And when I go back to the hotel room, I was like, I feel like I've been up my nut. Shit and blood. Do you know, but I was like, I was like, I don't feel right. You're you like, like, you know what I mean? It's like your body's hyped in so much caffeine that it's moving it for you. And you're like, <laughs> you try to sleep, but why am I still moving it? I just remember well? being so fucking exhausted, but so awake, and I'm like, fuck. Do you know what that's quite common though? Like people who drink espresso martini, martinis, where so coffee aye, aye, aye. there was a guy I think it was at Jillian's work actually like he drank so many he had like it was like two for one cocktails or something just, he was just special. blasting them I ended up in hospital <laughs> but no it's no caffeine overdose but it's just like caffeine poisoning is that a thing I don't know um, I'd, I'd probably, probably, probably pretty close because <laughs> so much caffeine like, I think this is a thing that people forget like so much of anything can kill you obviously aye. but like as soon as like especially pre-workouts he the fucking that actually is nicely on our topic um, that we're going to talk about today but Aye. see the whole shot in pre-workouts oh let's do it again let's do it again you're going to fuck yourself up Aye. like you, you could send you in a caffeine overdose and kill yourself I'll tell you a quick story before we go to I, I mean we were in work and we had this non-stimulant pre-workout we had a non-stimulant pre-workout so there's no caffeine anything what's the point in that then? Right, so we've got pumping all that right this is this is this is a lot of beta in it and we're like ah, fuck we'll just take it we'll oh need anything right we'll just in work right and he uh, took two scoops. Mate, my head was so fucking itchy. It's just the face. I was like, oh, 
the, the, the two worst. hours straight. And I was worst. like, I was scratching my neck. I'm like, why do we do this? My, my pal was like, ah, mate, why do you think? It's like you sort of took two eggs. Yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah. fucking hell, man. It was like, it was like, you wanted to claw your face in. So this was like, beta alanine, but it was like a high dose because I was doing any, any caffeine. So they wanted you to feel something. Aye. So we double scooped this. Aye. For just for the sake of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just used to do things as a kid, to be honest. Like, <laughs> see, so I just remember story. This was in Gym 24 as well. See, my mate Dale, oh, yeah. over there, the uh, uh, an electrician. Him and Nicky, uh, my pal Nicky, came into the gym and they're like, he's a fucking pre worker, he's like, make it strong. And I was just like, fuck okay. it then. And I saw four scoops <laughs> and I'm watching him right <laughs> No word they lie there. I was like, Tom caught up with him and he spanked it and he was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. blah. Like 20 minutes later, I'm like looking about the gym floor and I'm seeing them walking out and Nicky's doing his saying, Dale's just standing next to him and he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing all this shit and he looks at me and he's, he's like, what is that? And I goes, fuck knows mate. <laughs> I was like, it's just pre-workout. Like, it's <laughs> just double pre-workout. Like, um, uh, I saw that, that's like, but I, I've had, like, see, you can't eat that irritation feeling for that bit. I mean, fucking horrible. Mm. You yeah, actually feel like you want to rip your teeth out. Yeah, like, is that when like, it's just ain't that with my jaw, like, I could actually, I could push through this. Like, yeah. there's, there's no barrier, like, there's still... I almost spoke about this, you've already ever took that DMA, mm-hmm. and it's like, it's, it's like, so it's like a heavy stimulant, mm-hmm. and we got it one time, and I remember we got our pub. I remember the first time we took it, I was like... Did you finish the top? Or was that it after the six weeks? Nah, I didn't take it, I only took it twice. <laughs> you keep it I took it twice, but the first time we done it, we were starting at the cables, my pal was like, I need to go and do a shite. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mate, sound, I was like, I was bouncing. Chitting the pan, it's coming I, out that I fast. I was bouncing, man. <laughs> And uh, he was away for two minutes, and I'm like, the fuck is he? And he was away for like three more minutes, and I'm like, where the fuck is he, man? And I was just looking about this gym, man. I was, like, is I was freaking out, and I was texting him, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm doing a shit. I was like, mate, hurry up, man. <laughs> and then I saw these two people I knew, and I was up there talking to him, I'm like, you alright? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, you look like you're not. I'm like, I just took a sneaky workout, and I was just like, blathering away. Actually, bah, 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 bah. The, the, Every, every gym spot got this guy, you trained the exercise for less than Hammer. Aye, I Do you remember know. a guy called Pete? Hi, Pete, aye, Pete, I know Pete well. Pete, do you? Aye. He was always, oh no Mate, way. Pete is fucking. Oh, right, so, fucking hilarious story. He was, like, he was always in the gym. Mate. He was like, he was like Stevie, wasn't he? Like <laughs> Stevie Russell, four or five hours in the gym. Always. Always, no, no word of a lie, no whatever day we mean, Ross used to train at Virgin Active. Pete was there and there was a wee tan guy that he used to, I don't think they're pals anywhere. No, but he used to train his cell. Like, like, uh, he's trained his cell but he always ended up working in with this other wee guy. And he, when they shut up, man, <laughs> I swear to God, he would do lines before the gym. <laughs> he used to tell me all the time, he worked, at, he worked in a bank as well. Uh, like, I know, 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 I know. So, yeah, uh, because I think he got chucked out of eh? Virgin Active for whatever reason. Oh. I think he must have had a fight or a domestic, like he was always loud. Aye, so he's like, like yeah. see when we talk about gym environments and stuff like that, he's he like obnoxious guys. Aye, he is loud. He was one of them. He, he is loud. One of them. He is like, loud. Like, no, no matter who's walking into that gym, that but it could be your first time in the gym. Aye. And he's like, ah, What's your name? Who are you? Oh, what's happening? And he's like, in your face. Oh, the eye. So, remember I was telling, I can't believe it, the name pieces together. So I was telling you, like, like it's quite good going to the same gym because you get to know the same faces. Aye. And then me and Ross would walk in and they'd be, folk would know, isn't it? But, oh, Dale, Ross, or whatever. That's Pete, like, aye. right across the room, shouting and that. Just, Fucking buzzing, he's in Always buzzing. Buzzing. Aye, what, aye, a, aye. what a nice guy to have in your, in your pocket. Like, I'm feeling shit today. You see him and he's like, hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. But, aye, he, he, when you're talking about that, he reminds me of somebody that just fucking constantly caffeine dosed or buzzed it Mate, and that, 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 uh, I used to do, I used to take, I used to take Dust Extreme and that was fucking mad anyway. Mm. Like you, I used to feel like I was on drugs anyway. It was fucking some done. <laughs> but that was too far. Like even for me, I was like, this yeah. is too much stimulants. So I was well, like, you, you probably you built that. the fucking porn, sir. No, I'm talking about you were built like a, a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you got in a different direction. We're talking about Tom, I'm saying when you took pre workout, you're probably like fucking uh, uh, stick thin because you were skinny, man. I, yeah. went, I went skinnier, I went skinnier, but when I was taking pre workout, I was, I was like maybe 72, so I was still small. But still, mate, I, like, it was too much for me, mate. <laughs> I was sitting in my box, I remember, I remember one last time before we go, man, it was a. Uh, there was this woman beside me, pure older woman, and I fucking could hear her talking, and then she was talking with me, man. So I fucking slammed the weights down, man. I was like, what is it? And she was like, what? Oh, man, you're fucking talking me. <laughs> right? And she was like, no, I'm, I'm sorry. But she was, she was fucking talking about me. Was this, where was this? In the gym. And I was fucking, I was like, I need to go here, man. <laughs> you're like, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're no, like, I mean, she was, she was genuinely, she was, 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 she was
and uh, they were talking about me and they were, they were laughing. It was genuine because I was like, mate, I ain't there talking me. My pal was like, they are. I slammed the weights down, mate. Then the master said, I was like, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? <laughs> In her face. No, no, no I was away. Like, I was away for it, but I was like, what the fuck is it, man? Uh, What's your problem? About? Yes, this is bringing so many. I like keep on this subject because it's so funny thinking <laughs> back to all these stories. But um, so you, I don't. You've met. Uh, you have met Ross. You've met Ross, right? So he's quite. He's fucking solid. He's huge, right? But as he started getting bigger, like he's a big guy, and he's got a resting bitch face, like I think he would met, like Who, like, like I, Ross. I, I, Ross, I, I, like, fuck you know, like, like, fuck like, are you guys. He's actually no, like uh, when you meet when you come in person, but he's a grumpy guy, but he will <laughs> hold his own with anything, right? And uh, it's funny, like somebody brought up like. And if you're guessing, I like um, Jigger. So I like, used to be fucking mental, didn't you, when you look at tattoos and stuff Aye. like that. So this was back in the day when me and Ross are like, we were 19, 20, like, where we boys, we just started lifting. He's wearing the stringers, right? And you know what? Jigger's like, he stares at every cunt, and he was staring at Ross, and Ross was like, ah, the fuck are you looking at? And I was like, we did. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you're gonna get us fuck you. Like, he's gonna go after. Surprisingly, never. But see, when you're talking about like when you know folk are looking at you, he just so changed, many mate. times we had him like just sitting in the gym. Because I think you're already heightened in the gym. So if you're taking that kind of stuff, man, you are heightened. I know. I don't. Well, he, he, like I said, he was right in his supplements and stuff like that. Uh, I think he had to like his dad go like half market Jack 3D and stuff like that. This mate, is probably what had happened. It was the Jack. Oh, DMEA was a, what was in Jack 3D. Right, like, that might be. It might be right. like that. The, what that was, and he's like, oh, this be work is good, man. I was never like I never really paid attention to many folk, but I'd be so oblivious. We'd be. I vividly remember this. I'd day. be. So, I'd be so oblivious. Mate, It'd be so oblivious. Sitting, sitting down lap pull downs, and there's a leg extension machine there, right? And I guys were out in that. And I'm not even, I didn't know what's happening, so I'm waiting and Ross does it, and then Ross looks up at me and looks by me and goes, the fuck you looking at? And I was like, I turned around, and now the guy's like, ah, the fuck you looking at? <laughs> so this was two guys, probably hyped up, <laughs> and, <fair. laughs> and they're like, none of them were backing down. Never turned into anything, but I was like, ah. Do you ever, like, I, I seen a post that is funny as fuck, man, because it's true. I don't know if women do this, but there's always a guy in a gym that you have a slight hatred for, you never spoke to, you don't know who he is. There's no reason. You just look at him and go, you're a prick. <laughs> and he looks actions. at you and goes, you're, you're a, a prick. prick. <laughs> and you see each other sometimes, you walk past each other and he's barely saying anything, you maybe go, all right. You're like, that kid's a prick. And then I, like I, I found when I end up speaking to them. I saw your reputation ends up going, oh no, he's a wank, he's I, a wank. And I, then, then you're like, you like, chatting away, you're like, so but you, you know that they were thinking the same as you. They, like, it's a pure guy thing when you're in the gym training and you're like, ah, what a prick, what a prick. No, and you go, what was that? Oh, no, no. <laughs> so this is the thing, right? I love like how how guys are in the gym because literally how a, a friendship's bonded is one day you're in, you see some guy and you're like, oh, you fucking... You see, they end up making eye contact and stuff like that and it's like growls, but you're not meaning to be growls, you're ah, just yeah, like that. Ah, yeah. You're just in the zone. You're just, in the zone. Just being myself, just being a hard man. Second time seeing them, it's like, all right, you need a nod. Third time you see them, it's like, all right, mate, all right, mate. Ah, aye, aye. Fourth time you see them, it's always happening. Ah, aye, 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 what a spot. Aye, aye. Aye. The relationship just that's builds how, and builds. That's how it always builds. changes. If somebody asks you for a spot, that's it. The friendship's <laughs> there. It, but if you the friendship's no there, then no. it's a bit weird, man. After that, you're like, oh. And this is what people forget. Well, like, see, like, quote, unquote, gym rats, or people are consistently in the gym. It's usually people are lonely. And it isn't like you find it. They are I know open. I'm going seven days this week. <laughs> <I know. laughs> James is gonna be very lonely. <laughs> um, but you, you know what I mean. Like that's why. Like I feel like maybe that's why the bonds there mm. so much. And then you've got other skills. You get you do have creeps and all that. that are, Me, are I, 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 I say this all the time. Guys are usually a lot lonelier. Than, oh yeah, for sure. Than women. Like women will always talk to their pals, and guys will. Mate, a lot of guys will distance themselves at times to do their own thing mm. and then they'll end up lonely, but no, like a bad lonely. Just, that's just how it goes. Mm. Speaking you know about I mean? like current events and shit like that that's going on, have you seen the whole trend with the whole women thing? There's a, there's a TikTok that blew up and it's a lassie that's recording her set. Oh, yeah, and yeah, she's, yeah. There's a guy in the background. Stay, he's having a wee swatch. Aye. What do you think of this whole thing? Because it's, it's blew up and I think there's a lot of back. I think everybody's in more or less the same agreement that the bird's attention seeking. Well, um, the bird had their only fans as well. <laughs> this is, you know what I mean? So, but this, like, doesn't he, like, there's no... No, I know, there's no excuse, there's no excuse. I did laugh at that, because like, she's like, oh my God, this guy's staring at me. Staring at me. And then, at the end he, of the post, she's like, oh, by the way, check my link out, I've got my only fans, and I'm like... You can literally pay to see 
I don't even know. You can see probably more than that. Aye, <laughs> and she's worried about a guy's turn. I have a wee like peek, and but I don't. I did, so I didn't. Oh yeah, I, I try not to pay too much attention. So I don't always remember this. I was sitting up for the deadlifts in a gym. Guys, see what we're doing with this. They didn't let me film it anyway. But I was filming. I can't not say the gym. I don't like it because because I was new age. Oh. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I was videoing myself. I wasn't meaning to get him deals in it, but there was two people up the other end, right? And I videoed every set because I was watching my form this day. And they were looking away, looking away. See, as soon as I started, bang. And then as soon as I finished. Uh, and then they'd be oh, so, I, I, was, I, was, I was just ah, watching right, okay. I was just watching in the background blah 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 and then as soon as I started and as soon as I finished so like you got to look at it go they weren't the pervert at me the like, woman wasn't the pervert at me do you know what I mean I don't like and if they I, were, I, I, find, I find it hard to talk about it's very hard, hard very hard very hard because I even said this to, we were saying this when Jelly was in the room the other day like when I was in working in Nottingham I like, if you want to put it on black and white, like on paper, what sexual harassment is. There's no black... I, I, got, I got sexual harassed in work. I used to wear... I well developed legs. My arse looked good. I wore trousers to work. And folk, like, woman, uh, old woman, uh, say to me, your arse looks amazing uh, in, the, in the trousers. And I'm like, ah. Like, I, so I, there's Dale. Dale's get the best, like, the nicest arse in there. And I'm like... Remote, like, there is a role reversal in that Mate, because the other so way about I'm in front of HR the first time and I'm like it. please give me like, let me do my job <laughs> and it's no slag in there. Like the first time I was jumped at before I had in a class I was fucking wearing the wee short shorts because <laughs> then I was going to do a class right maybe you were looking for attention mister <laughs> <laughs> you're like right, but I, I didn't know I was going to do a, going to a, a pump class and I remember <laughs> coming out and, and, <laughs> and everybody's like that. oh they were all talking about your ass. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Imagine that was a woman coming out and but, but all the guys were... But it does happen in it. And like, I, I don't know, like, this is what I mean. I think that it's hard because you can only speak to your own situation, right? So you can't put yourself... And I, well, and, and men, shoes right? and you I was, shouldn't I, feel that. I was two men, can I sit and go, right, this is you, what it feels like to be a, a girl in that it's situation. Because totally totally it, would be, it would be different, like... Um, I, I just think, but it is bizarre though. Like, there is a role reversal of that. So role like, reversal. Like, <laughs> it used to be so bad. And not, no, like Jillian was even saying you like there's this one girl was like she'd joke, and this was all this was all a joke, and she was like, oh, I'm just gonna put a picture of you in my ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> if, if a guy, if a guy said that to a woman, like imagine I turned around and said that, mate, mate. Someone... So I, I used to go to raves, right? And well, this is just well, went we after this is quite good chat, right? I used to go to raves and I used to take my tap off, and I remember there's loads of things happened. Why? Right? No, what? We pitching just. I can imagine. Right, I was, I was a good looking wee guy, man, and uh, there's a couple of times with old women, right, and these are the two that stuck out to me the most. There was this one woman, and it was at Carl's Fest, right, and uh, she was just trapped. She was like, mm, and I was like. Mm, oh my god, man! What the fuck is happening here? I was like, is she getting the wrong vibe? What do you mean? Mm, like she was just looking at me like that. And I was like, why are you so why are you facing uh, that? Is that dancing? No, because I was looking forward. She's looking back. Oh, she- <laughs> <laughs> she's looking to me. Right, AJ's that way. And pal. she was like trying to grind on me, and I was like, ah. I was like, so my best pal is gay. Right, right. So I was like, mate, what the fuck is this woman doing, man? And she was like, oh, you're so fucking hot and all that. And I was like, oh my fucking God, man. This woman's like 40, man. It's like somebody's more to take her aim. <laughs> and uh, I was like, this is fucking, this is giving me the bulk, man. And I was like, I was jail. I was like, I was getting to, a, I was a little bit mad with it. So I was like, I'm not enjoying this. So I went back, man. And I went behind everybody and she followed me and all that. And I was like, here, look, I'm not looking for anything. And she was like, ah, I don't really care and that. And I was like, what the fuck, man? And I was like, here, I'm gay. That's my boyfriend. And she's like, doesn't bother me. Oh my god. <laughs> and I was like, ah, Tony, I'm going to the toilet. Hopefully when I come back, she's gone. So I burst it right and I came back. She was getting after some deals and I was like, ah, thanks mate. So I shook his horn. And then another okay. one, there was this, uh, uh, I mean, maybe like, uh, maybe, my, maybe my fault for taking my tap off, right? I used to just do my tap <laughs> Right, but when I used to go just to the days, I, I, I just used to jump about sweaty, right? And then there was this couple, right, a couple, Maybe 40, they were over 40, right? And but uh, I feel couples that go to raves, swingers probably. Mate, this, the, these must were, they were swingers, right? Must be. So they were like fucking, they just kept their stone behind me looking at me and they were giving me that look. 
Now he's going, ha ah, 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 ha ha ha, you know, ha ah, ah, ha ah. <laughs> no. ha. He's just like, ah, fuck it, like, here we go. Right. Pitch again, are you DJs that way in two folk? I'm <laughs> facing you. That's so fucking weird. Right. 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 There's so many things that happen to me today, and they're like, you know, like, they're like, oh, fuck, you know, you're talking about if it happened to a lassie, it'd be so fucking creepy. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 The guy, aye, 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 I'll tell you one thing, see here now this, there's no one of you ended up with anxiety in the <laughs> a couple of years after this with these situations. No, but it's fucking wild, crazy man. mate, it's like, it's insane man, insane. Uh, I've got, I've got hundreds of stories. Well, like, maybe we should come back to stories like, because this is good, it's obviously nice entertainment, a wee bit of different. But when you look at it in a gym environment, it's hard because, I mean, it's like, if somebody is looking at somebody, like and they they look a couple of times and they don't look again. Like how 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 bad is that? Because I'm sure guys will look at women and women will look at guys. But guys would all like stare, 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 stare mate. Stare, no 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 no. Stare. But that's what Jillian says. That says stare, stare stare some things. Um, and I guess it's I don't know. I just I can appreciate a good physique, right? So it's it's my job. So see when we're walking in Glasgow up the Buchanan Street, like Jillian see like I don't know. I see a couple of what buyers. The guy's jacked. Okay, it will just naturally catch my attention. Aye, aye, aye. And Jillian always asks, she's like, staring at that guy. Aye. It's like, aye, he's a good guy. guy. Like, he's a good guy. No, but this is what I mean. Like, I feel like guys, I don't, I don't know if it's maybe the attention span or whatever, whatever the reason is, but there's a mere tendency of being aware Stare. of what's going on. No, no, you're staring, just being aware of Vigil. it. Aye, and you're surrounding that. I don't know if, like, with some men, maybe is that why he's hyper? It's, it's also, like some men have bad... Aye, aye. Um, can, I, can I control like, no, not that they can't of control, they just know, they don't get good morals, so mm. that is then heightened. Mm. So if they're already a vigilant person, they don't get good morals, it's like... So we all know, know stories in the gym. You know, I, I was going to say... You'll, like, you'll know who the people are who... Aye. who you could see them, you're like... They are just you perving. Yeah, they are just genuine, just genuinely perving, <laughs> and that is all they're doing. You know what I mean? I was, there was something else I was going to say to that. I know, we are hyper vigilant. Like, I've been called, like, what are you looking at them for? I'm just looking at everything. Yeah, just you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm just looking at everything here. Mm-hmm. I'm not staring at any what particular person. I just make sure that I know what's happening about me. Uh, Do you know what I mean? I know, I know. So speaking of gym, like gym trends, uh, gym that what's the word I'm looking for? Trends? The, no, no gym trends. I know that's what we're going to get into, but gym the, etiquette. The, no, the, I, the etiquette in a gym. Um, there's a there is a there's a hashtag that hashtag just now. If you click on it, click on it. It's just tons of videos where. Guys are caught in the background staring at staring at women and it's fucking blown up. Um, hey, but see, yeah, if I went to a public gym and you went to a public gym, you would catch guys I'm asking to queue as well. And yeah. that's where you go. You can, you can never tell if they're just having a wee swatch because they see them and they're maybe wearing bright clothing or they're continuously doing it and they're making them feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it's hard. In a yeah. short in a short clip, and most of the clips the people are behind the camera, so they're already behind her. Uh, so where the fuck else are you meant to look? I think it's hard. Uh, 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 you got to look and go. But that, why is that big camera there? Uh, the, the, the situation where that guy in, in the video that's blown up, the, the guy is just mind, like it looks like he's just mindless doing his set. That's what I mean. Like a video can be taken so wrong. Mm-hmm. Like I'm sure there was one where there was a guy, there was a trainer training a client, and both of them had looked over and back down, mm-hmm. and then aye, the aye. woman had went like ape shit at it. Aye, aye, I've seen that. I've seen it was kind of all taken out of context, but aye. then that one we clip blew up. Aye, aye. So I don't, don't know, I think it's a dangerous fucking road to like put everything online like that because you can you can take anything, you know, a different perception yeah. So speaking of gym trends, let's bring up some things or some trends that really should be dying, right? right. So these are gym trends that need to die. And the reason I bring this up, I'm going to start with the first one. So you'll see like posts like fitness trends that need to die, blah, 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 blah. I cannot believe in 2023. Right. Is that what I'm sa
around ab fat burning blasting exercises I know this is um, this is I had my client come up to me this morning and say I'll say please any people's insecurities these content videos are like who, what is the first person somebody saying have you got any body part that you want to specifically work on anything that kind of stands out oh I love like my, my belly can we just can we just can we just a couple of rolls <laughs> just a couple of rolls off there now there is a ton ton of research that how you burn body fat you cannot spot reduce burn, uh, burning body fat so I think most of the population knows that yet there's still these videos like 10 minute fat burning exercises I don't, I don't exercises. think most of the population does know that then why are these the I most popular most, videos I think if you go into a gym environment most will not but then you've got people who don't even oh, go to the gym not, sorry aye 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 sorry aye 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 like, so see if we're, we're targeting people who don't go to the gym mm-hmm. they don't want but I was looking at that video this morning 1.7 million um, likes and fuck knows how many views on it and all it was was a wee boy who had abs and he's like are you good are you fat or not? Is it saying something like, a, are you, is your midsection fat? Mm. Or do you want abs? Aye. Then do this routine for seven minutes mm. every day. And he's like, stop doing crunches. Stop doing, I'm like, what, what? Like, he's like, grab a plate, sit in a V position. Aye. And, and bring it in. Like, no need Russian twist. You just sit in the world. Oh, <laughs> and right, right, I was right, like, right, right. what the fuck is that? Aye. And the reason that this gained so much attraction is because the guy's excellent shape. He's got an amazing six pack, mm-hmm. good genetics for a six pack, which I think people forget. But that's not why he's got a fucking six pack no. because of that of that exercise. And I don't know why when it comes to abs, we throw the whole well, principles of me- building muscle for me- out I, the window. And that is, but for men, you don't even need abs. It's not like a big thing, mm-hmm. but it's still played on men's insecurities. Mm-hmm. No, every woman wants abs, and not every me- men want. Not every man wants abs, and will say that. You see deep down, it's like a lot of men will sit and go, you know what, what if I did have abs? Do you know I, what I mean? I don't know. I it plays like it plays on men's insecurities of being that fit guy that everybody wants. Because that's what a lot of things have portrayed as. You know, yeah. this big fit guy, he's got all the women. And then most of the men are like, well I want that. I want that. But then they, they don't want to put the work in for it, but they're like, well if I can just do that, then I'll do that. Right. And then that leads them down the road to such a b- unhealthy habit with training abs. Yeah. I think most people do want some sort of visible tone. Yeah. I, I don't like I keep I'm fucking I keep using this word tone, but I've only started using it because I have seen something like obviously tone is a made up word, right? Ah, yeah. Let me get this because it's been on my chest for ages. Ah! <laughs> and I keep saying it and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, Dale? But I'm only saying it because it communicates to my client. Aye. Um so toning is a made up word from the fitness industry. You cannot tone a muscle, you can only grow it or shrink it. And, and <laughs> that's fucking, it, that's right, it. That's it, right? It doesn't tone, but the toning aspect is a defined muscle right a, a muscle that you can see that looks defined right Aye. Aye. so what I've been doing recently because like like I was the I was the PT before when that client said tone it's like well actually did you know that a muscle can't really tone it can only um, it can only grow or shrink and I was like stop doing that because they're looking at me like so what you like it's what I want right so I, I had to move away from that communication mm-hmm. and I was doing this for so long for like the first six months of PT and then I seen a video and it fucking it hit me I was like man one cut deep that's, ah, what, I mean. yeah, that's yeah. what I've been doing so I've been saying to my clients I look see the toning aspect that you're looking for that's what we're going to do we're going to define some muscle we're going to build some strength and then blah 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 um, so that's how I keep using the word tone but back to like I think most people do want some sort of definition oh, they in, in their midsection they want it. Um, so with that being said see when it comes to building muscle why is it when it comes to our midsection we just go like imagine I turned around to you and I was like do you want to grow your chest do this eight minute eight minute chest exercise. Do this four minute back workout. Like, I don't know why. Easy like, to sell, I know. I like it's so easy. It's is it is it you that Mike Chang? Remember him? Oh, remember that him. was him. Sit, no, he was six minute abs. No, no, he, six back shortcut. Six back shortcut. That's that's him. him. He was class. He, he started. He started that. <laughs> I, oh, he didn't start it. He was one of the biggest. He revolutionised yeah, it. He did. And uh, it came out that he was taking steroids as well. Obviously. So. No, but man, look on. <laughs> no, but it's not even. It's not even that. It's like his thing was bullshit, and he was bullshit. I followed so, it. <laughs> I followed it. So, Mate, I see the, see the shoulder one. And he's like, right, rest for eight seconds. That actually ingrained in me. Eight seconds between your super set seven, six. Right, here we go again. <laughs> Mate, it's so fuck. You see, when you look back, it was so fucking stupid. But I was, always remember the six pack shortcuts to show you how to lunge. Your knee can never go over your toe. <laughs> 
Never go with your toe, man. This is where safety and mechanics come in. It's like bench press, don't go below 90 Aye. degrees. Don't let your elbows go behind your body. <laughs> half a half reps. But, mate, that was one of the biggest channels on YouTube that time. Aye. It was the biggest. It was. No, it was. Because it was on top was like, shows he, and it was on everything. You can't go with your knees over your toes. His word was the be all and end all. Aye. But, aye, so when it comes to building, right, so let's, let's actually combat this with some good information behind it. Mm -hmm. So the reason that you're probably attracted to this video or attracted to this exercise is because you have an insecurity about your midsection and you're wanting to define it, yep. whatever it is that you want to do. The first thing that you need to do to lose body fat from your midsection is be in a calorie deficit. Yep. Now, the longer you're in that calorie deficit, the more likelihood is that your midsection will start to shrink. Mm -hmm. Now, for women, it's a wee bit different. For guys, it's a wee bit different. For every single individual, how your body looks at a certain percentage of body I, fat I, is different. Exactly, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look different. Your response to your calorie deficit is going to be different. Everybody's you might arms feel, look different. <coughs> uh, you might feel that your arms are getting skinny and you're like, why is, why is here so still there? Typically in guys, it's the last area. It's, it's where we, what we call stubborn belly fat. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's the, the last area where body fat tends to drop off. But you just know that's, that's all you need to do. Now, with that being said, there is ways to build your muscles around your abs section so it comes through a higher body fat percentage. So I'd say I'm, I'm probably, I'm not like, like at the highest body fat percent I've been, I've been, but I'd probably say I'm close to like 16-ish, 17, 18% body fat. Maybe not necessarily in, in my arms as much because of my veins and that come out, my legs are pretty shredded, but I know I've got a lot of back meat Aye, sitting yeah, around yeah. this section. Aye. So, but I can still have abs showing through at that higher body fat Aye. percentage because since four feet in high school, I have trained abs. This is thing as well, like, most people don't have good development of their abs because they never fucking train it. Right. It's boring to train, it's a short muscle group. It's usually the last exercise or towards the end of your workout programme because it's a smaller muscle group, it kind of recovers a wee bit differently, right. it can take more tolerance. But how you train that is just like any other muscle group. A strength phase, a hypertrophy phase, mm -hmm. a high set, uh, multiple sets, higher exact reps, same. more reps, Doesn't just change. phase in, phase out, right. create that nervous and that response. Like, and that's no, it, but it's no sexy. That's no sexy. I, don't know, I think there's no many exercises that are worth doing. <laughs> leg raises, high on leg raises. Something that the, the, the exercises that I look at is actually your hips, your pelvis. You Aye. want that pelvis to rotate, Aye. let the ribcage crunch over yeah. and extend. And that's it. That's the best way to do it. You get things like your, I love vacuums for your internal Aye. Um, Aye. ab structure, like your uh, transverse, your TVA basically. It's good, it's good, it's good for the whole. Just, it's good for just learning a. Brace. It's just, uh, I was just going to say, it's just learning to actually use your abs is a good thing as well. So you're talking about strength. You just a vacuum just teaches you how to use your abs. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? See the see the thing about me bringing up this. They see the same client. I trained like um, squats, front squats, well on the day before, and he's like, so he brought that up, and then later in the session he was like, ah, see, see, you know what? He was actually quite sore after that. He's like, my my core. He's like, why is that sore? And I was like, because squats is the best fucking exercise you can be doing. Ah, yeah, yeah. Like he's like, that's mental. And I was like. So you're feeling it for yourself, but you still believe that this fucking aye, this idiot, shit yeah, this fucking works. Aye, so it's mad. It's mad. But aye, so that's that's the first one. And that's the thing is, you're one. really sore after doing an ab class because you've moved your abs fucking mm. a lot. It's not because you've you've created a large amount of hypertrophy. No, you've just moved them a shit ton. Aye, and, and sometimes you do. Like you do with anything, you go balls to the walls, you do too much, you wake up the next day and you're can't like, get oh, I can't move, uh, I can't do anything. It's too much, uh, too much far, intensity. Far too much. Right, so now, like leading nicely onto that, we just spoke about there, like fat burning exercises as well, I guess, spawn that. So, like this is probably why we don't like classes so much, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. what is a class? What's the point? The fat burn, burning class? The burn, like all this Aye. sort of shit. Pump. Um, pump. Um, like, what's the point? I know, I know. So, like, you got, uh, if... When you go to ask somebody, what is the point you're doing that class? Oh, to gain muscle. Well, don't do it. Nobody says that. Well, people do it because they say they want, they're on, want to lose I'm weight. Burning, I'm, I'm, I want to lose weight. I'm burning fat. Mm. But you're not. No, exactly. So the two prime cases for people doing classes, uh, if they say to me, I'm doing classes because I enjoy it and it's a good social aspect for my life, then I go, fair does. Right. But that's never the case and so you're doing things for the wrong reasons. No, I know. So, so we'll talk about sport, sport reducing fat here then? Aye, so sport, sport reducing fat, also we've covered that off, like you can't sport reduce fat, fat burning workouts, loads of, these are things that need to die. Right, nicely on to fat um, fat burning workouts. <coughs> so what what do most people do and why are they calling it fat burning workouts? Sweating? No, trackers. Oh, trackers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I love the tool of a tracker 
but we fucking rely on it way too much. We do not need, like everyone is so obsessed with the calorie burn. So I had, I had a client in our day, more chicken salad, because he's got a, the, 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 I can't remember what stage of hypertension he's got, but it's not good at all. So I'm obviously watching his heart rate, so when he's doing his heavy sets, he's not going over a certain heart rate. Mm. Uh, and he's like, how many calories have I burnt? Six or not. <laughs> like, mate, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, and I look, and I tell him, he's like, well, I'm, I've actually burned that much. I'm like, well, ah, you do actually burn quite a lot then, strength training, if you're going for it. But I was like, it doesn't matter uh, what, you, what you'd burn in here. The whole point is you're here to your strength train, get stronger. You're not here to burn calories. And I says, like, the whole point of me, me getting you to use this is just to see your heart rate. Aye. And I says, and that calorie count is always the thing that people take to heart. I know. And they I get know. it in their head, oh, I'm going to burn a thousand calories, I'm going to burn 500 calories, I'm like, stop it. I know. And, and this is the thing, like, your watch, your watches is, or your tracker, even the heart rate monitors, like, the, they can the be super off. expensive, they're no, no even can be off. I need to actually look into the research on this. Yeah. Apple yeah, Watch Apple was Watch, actually 60%. I've got, it was 40%. It's high, man. 40%. So that's there was massive. Something, there was something that was 80, right? <laughs> so they're, they're way off. And I'll never forget, like, I always remember, <coughs> like, in Gym 24. Um, I don't say the guy's name, but he, he was working out. He works out hard. He's in there for ages, and he's focused on his calories. You probably know who I'm talking mm-hmm. about. And I remember he's like, I am, he was working with a, he was working with a coach for... Like, this is the thing as well. His coach was like, right, I want you to do this workout wise. And he's like, that's too little. I need to, I'm going to do my own thing. So he got his nutrition off. So you know he was roughly consuming about So two he th- says to his coach that's too, too no enough? Aye, because he was, he's married to the fucking intensity aye, balls aye. to the ball stuff. So, and I remember him coming to me and he was like, ah, how? Like he says, I don't get what's happening here. He says, I stepped in the scales this morning and I've, I'm no fucking post weight. I thought calorie deficits meant you meant to be your body burning more calories than consume. So you're and, I, and I was like, well, talk, like how do you how do you know what you had? And he's like, well, yesterday I burned two thousand four hundred calories, and I only ate two thousand calories. And I was like, oh, right, no. I need to have an awkward conversation. But they're way off. Mm. And even going in that strategy, if you if you are treating your workouts for the calorie burn, your body adapts to the calorie burn that you're sending it. That's why hit classes, like yes, you create this fucking stimulus, say thirty minutes of spin. Once a week, mm. six weeks down the line, you don't get the same calorie burn because you're now efficient at that said fucking bout activity. But where it comes different is when you're strength training. Yes. You yeah, can't, yeah. You, you, your body can't adapt to that because of the stress in your central nervous system, the stress in your muscles, you're tearing down your muscles. I would I would say, because I remember watching one of Bio Lane's videos and he was saying that you'll never burn any more than 500 calories in a good strength training workout. He believed for what he was right now. I remember that hitting home and I was like, fuck me, man, if mm-hmm. it's that low, mm-hmm. that's, what it, that's, what, that's what he's basically trying to say. Like, your workouts are not, not they've got nothing to no. do with your calorie burn. It's no. everything outside. It's your, your daily movement, your fucking... And what um, do you do when you move? If, what do, how do you move after <laughs> you strength train? You move more. And it's not about the calorie burn, it's just about the movement. Do you know what I mean? So, aye, so that was... Um, Far too overused. On, on the tech and gadget part, so you brought up an amazing point when we were mm. prepping for this. Running shoes. Oh, I fucking hate them, man. <laughs> but, like, I get all my, all my clients will know, I, I, like, even if they've not got them yet, I go, get a wee pair of Converse. And I say, start in a wee pair of Converse, and then you can build up if you want to go barefoot shoes. That's totally up to you. I don't, I don't wear barefoot shoes, but, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about it. If a client came in to me and was wearing those fucking toe things... No, no shoes, day. I'm like... I'm not training you in the mirror. Shut okay. up, mate. Imagine. It's better to wear that than fucking running shoes. <laughs> I but No, but it's funny, like, I don't know where. Well, I don't know where. It's marketing. It's marketing. Buy these shoes, go to the gym. Like, I, had, I had somebody in the other day and I'm like, oh, I've got these new pair of shoes. And they're like, really nice pair of shoes. I'm like, they're not for the gym. <laughs> do you know what I mean? They're they're face, like, I've just spent 140 I'm like, oh, I don't see it. I don't see it, honestly. I don't see it. Because I was like, we're going to get shoes up anyway. But I say, if you go keep them, I, I was thinking about saying that if you go keep them on, they weren't they going to be any good for what we be doing here. Mm-hmm. And all you need is a flat pair of shoes. Aye. Like get. I would even say because I bought these things. Oh, they're they're spacious. I like these because of the space. They, and the they have, you can see they've got, still, a big, you can see they've got a bigger toe box. I still these are met. Uh, aye, these are metcons. But I still take these off for when I'm deadlifting this one because it's aye. still not quite flat footed. Mm-hmm. I just like the space. And this is the thing, like it's quite bizarre, like we're talking about shoes, you're like, who the fuck cares? Why would why would I care about shoes if I want to be healthier long term? But if you're used to this big spongy material under your feet and the sponge gives you more gait in your fucking walking and your your running, see when you you're flat footed, you're like, oh, my feet, oh, 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 oh I can't. Imagine you have to wear shoes for the rest of it. There's nothing that I actually love. 
been barefooted or like in my like it just feels like you feel stronger. I just feel I'm more explosive. I'm I'm good. So in terms of like the strength and I remember somebody said I used to walk in vans sometimes, but then rest of the time I'd wear my trainers to gym. Right. And we used to walk used to do a walk in my vans. My feet were fucking agony. Right. No, all I really wears Converse where when I'm just doing daily life and I can go hour walks with Converse and it doesn't hurt, I can walk on stones and I can't feel it. Right. And everybody's like that to me. I can't I, walk I can, in them. I can't right. walk in them. And I'm like, no no no. You can. You just need to gradually increase. Build up to it. So this is this is where I, I didn't realise because I was like it was my brother actually and he wore like fucking Nike shoes with all the sponges in it. And I was like I bought a pair of Converse and I bought a size too big and I was like, right take them, Aye. fucking wear them, and he, I think he's still got them to this day, like six years later, and he's like, they hurt my feet when I'm walking, and I was like, they hurt your feet, one, because you've got you a bit more weight, you've got, he's, he's also, Aye, like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, got more weight, so it's just to the sponge and the protection on his Aye. feet, but the other thing is just the adaptation to, to the, all these spongy shoes, and I was like, you subconsciously me. walk heavier when you've got pads, Aye. the thing we call converse though is, is the narrow toe, like, Aye, like, really narrow see if you're wearing like more, there's a, you feel oh, better, a, a brilliant fan, a brand it's called it starts with a V Vivo Barefoot I think aye Vivo Barefoot so I was going to try and get a pair of that's, what, that's what I was talking about 180 quid I, <laughs> I was like I was like I'm going to do it and I was like that's how I've not got a pair yet uh, man. Just, my pal's I'll got I'll them just take my shoes off my pal's got like leather ones right aye, so, some of my clients have got them so well. it looks like he's got to work <laughs> like so he wears these Vivo Barefoot but it's like we actual like we socks uh, <laughs> no it's like a uh, like work shoes, aye. like actual like, see, like, like obviously, aye, 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 I'm, I, I, I fucking mad, but he spent money on them, and once I get more money, I'm definitely investing in that. I think, aye, that will be the next kind of tool I invest in, but aye, aye overuse of tech and gadgets, man, that definitely needs to die. Right, on to the next one then, um, <laughs> fad diets. So, so fucking many. What is the latest fad diet, would you say, what are you hearing for your clients when you've kind of explored the history of their nutrition? So I always just got to be like you're you, big your big ones, some world, some have done have life, not that many. Most people have tried some world though. Aye. I think most people try some world. Slumming world and herbal life is like the just like plus. Aye, so herbal life just plus like detox and aye, tease. Or, aye, so we're gonna come into the detox and tease, but just let's talk about fad diets just now. Fad diets need to need to fucking die. I, I'm, do you know what I was listening to Jason Phillips stuff and he he said to me, he said, doesn't he believe uh, there is any bad diet? But it doesn't like the whole notion of a diet being pushed on the masses. Aye. Some of these diets are still in this day and age because they work for some people. That's what I was going to. I was going to bring up keto. I don't think keto is a bad diet. I think you can do it properly, but you need to be well educated on it. And I think too many people do keto without any education, so they don't know what they're losing out on when they're cutting out carbs. Right. So they don't know what to increase, but in other areas in <clears throat> protein and fats. So they what they do is just cut out one, cut uh, in macronutrient. And it works for some people, but they don't do anything with the protein and fats. All they do is cut out carbs. So I, then they wonder why things don't go well for them. Uh, it's not even that. Like people, people. The reason these, like Slimming World, Juice Plus, whatever, it, whatever the diet is, the reason they're still about is because people see success on them instantaneously. Aye. Now, when it comes to health and fitness, you'll hear us communicate all the time. If you're in it for the long game, mm-hmm. you ain't in it. We are, we've both got. Um, our own morals and we we would never ethically put someone through a quick fix a, a snapshot fat loss phase because to be truthful it doesn't exist it Aye. doesn't exist for most people but the reason fad diets work so well is because you're used to consuming calories and then you get to a point where you're like right i'm going to try keto i'm going to try whatever it is carnivore diet whatever it may be and all you're doing is cutting out macronutrients which is ultimately you're cutting calories Aye. you're just bringing your calorie stature down Aye. and you're like Listen, and scales. even although some world isn't keto, it demonises carbs. It does. You can eat as much. Well, no, you can eat as much rice. No, you can eat as much pasta. Aye. Is, it, is that some world? I can't, I can't mind. I can't this mind. other one. Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers. Aye. So what? What's, there's one that call it Sims. Aye. Sims. And this is what it's some world is the Sims. Is it Sims. right? So so it's a Sim to eat potatoes. Aye, aye. Which I would say is a rich starch type aye. carb that I would be having most of the most Good. of the week. Good. I'd be avoiding pasta. I'd be eating potatoes more aye. than if because pasta oh. like most people have some sort of gluten intolerance so aye, they feel aye. bloated with pasta mm-hmm. uh, but you can have as much pasta as you want aye. it's just bizarre yeah. it's, it's weird but the reason fad diets work and why fad diets are popular aye, is because it. it gives the fucking blinkered um, rules follow this 
like it's dead easy for me to say to you right cut out the carbs because you're like right cool but if I have to say to you track your calories for seven days work out your maintenance calories from there decide from eight weeks from that can you hold that calorie you're like, I'm fucking confused man. Aye, chill, aye. Out. That, chill out chill out fuck that's too much hard work let me just t- let and me it's just also like in the slow world isn't that it's like so the gate you give this this list of how you do but don't give why there's no why it's not even that like it, not even the why but they all say they all it all gets um built around weight mm. and this is where Weight Watchers like aye, um, aye. my stepmom's been in that and in uh, fact she's actually coming back to me she's like oh my god I've lost three pounds this week it was mad oh probably everybody has posted on Facebook amazing amazing I've just had a, like a really um, tough conversation with, with my client recently and it's because she's went to a dietitian and uh, uh, I was going to say at work um, at the hospital before medical reasons blah 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 right and the dietitian sat her down and said I need you to lose weight. Does it like it's just been a blanket approach? And in in my opinion, like I'm no medical expert here, but the advice that she's been given has been very, very poor because she's now fixated on weight. Now tell you tell you so this will hit home in a sec. Mm-hmm. Because she's then coming, she's like so she weighed in on the scales, we're tracking her food, um, she's down to a lower calorie state, so she's only She's only in the kind of three, four hundred, but that's working for her lifestyle, so I'm like, right, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and she'd been following this path, and from one, last week, to, sorry, two weeks ago to last week, she looked at it and she's like, are these cameras still? Nah, I'm just 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 well. yeah. Is that one with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so, so from one week to the other, weight stayed the same, and she's like, I fucking killed it in the gym, I'm killing it, I'm smashing it, I'm smashing my steps, uh, I hit my food, why the fuck am I losing? She's getting frustrated. And so we had this whole talk and debate, and she's like, but the doctors tell me I need to lose weight, and I'm fucking, that's what's annoying me the most. She said this blanket pitch, because most people that go to dietitians in the NHS would be mega fucking, like mega obese, and she'd by all means definitely fall into this category. Mm-hmm. So I said to her, like, like you, you work maybe since August, right? Your weight's not shifted much. Brought out the measurements, weighed her waist measure again, 10 centimetres she had lost from her waist, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this This is what you need to home in on. Forget the weight side of things. And this would be somebody that's fell into the whole bad diet categories before mm-hmm. because that's played on an insecurity because she's like, I need to lose weight. Right. So that's why these diets, they fix it around Did the weight. Did the dietitian give a diet? Eh? Did the dietitian give a diet? Um, I don't know. I would never asked that question if she had a diet. But basically saying, like, if you don't want to be type to diabetic or this, we need to lose the weight. Which, yes, is, is one element of it. But she's been strength training. She's been building muscle. She's been changing her body composition, getting a better relationship with food. Aye. But the dietitian's like, I need you to cut the amount of food that you're eating. Aye. The dietitian didn't even know about, like, she's already in a low-calorie state. You can't cut your calories for 1,300 I know, calories. <coughs> I know what dietitian and, and is it with your general? Uh, maybe probably. Aye, possibly. And, uh, you know of them, or know, personally know of them? I know, I know, I know of them. And uh, their diets are shocking in there. They're not good. They're they, not they, the dietitians still don't eat good. <laughs> and uh, they don't, don't know more about what's in ingredients. There's no question about but, the, the medical kind of. Right, like, they'll know what's more in ingredients, but they are fixated, as you say, on weight loss still, without the strength training aspect. And I, fit, I always find, and you'll say the same. When nutrition does not go with strength training, then it's a real struggle for people to see progress. Well, you think a dietitian's main, well, that's probably not a fair statement to say, but most, most of the No, because a nutritionists have been through university to, to aye, learn. They've, no, they've got, they've got, they're well educated. Yeah, yeah. But, like, like the post I put up the other day, any idiot can make people lose 20, 20 pounds. Huh? Me as a, as a coach, as a, in the fitness space, I'm about longevity and Aye. sustainable results. Aye. So I would argue that my approach to that, even though I'm only went through a nutrition qualification, know that I'll give nutrition planning, but I would say the advice that I'll, in standpoint, having that life, that individual's lifestyle factors would be more than that. Now I'm just like, it's a, it's a fucking weird one to talk about, I think, because you're like, they are, they are the expert in their field, and I would, I would always seek advice from a medical pro- uh, professional. Um, but... Like, and that, that was just a story that was all around weight. Because, because the thing is, with a dietitian, they will know what the co- the, the genuine consequences of being that oh, yeah, I like, And I, that's the only I'm thing that I would say, like, you know what I mean? They'll if, I'm, know. if I'm working with someone, I'm trying to slowly increase the But calories. again, what it comes down to is, see what I was saying about earlier, that well earlier in the podcast, we learn people's skills and we understand that people... Like behaviours. Behaviours. Yeah. Right, so they are... They that are is what we are with behaviour coaches. They're taking data from someone and they are not understanding any of the behaviours as a person, and they're just letting them lose weight. Mm. Lose weight is what they need to do. That's a fact. 
but the behaviours of this person, by you saying that, is not going to do it. It's maybe going to piss off a few people, but another thing as well, it's a five minute appointment. There's uh, that much, uh, like there's so much many, demand and many, so much stress many. put on mm -hmm. the NHS just now. It's mm -hmm. like, right, your stats, we need you use, right, 12 but, appointments but, a day. Imagine you had 12 PTs that have done. Hang on, see, they, they won't have any targets to meet. They no, won't. They, 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 they get pressed on that. Well, uh, right, that's what I mean. Like, no, oh, like the comeback or of I come success. Back. I, do you know what I mean? No, like, it's just, if it's they don't lose weight after they say lose weight, then it's like it's a firefight. So? Uh, it's a firefight. Do you know what I mean? Because you're just you're not fixing the root cause of the problem. This is my this is my bugbear with um, Western medical advice. I was going to say it's, the, it's, I was a, going pill, to say, it's a it's a sticky plaster over a problem as opposed to fucking tackling. I was going to say the, the NHS in general, and it's, it's hard to say because obviously they do help a lot of people, and a lot of people will get the genuine help they need. Get some hate in this one. No, but the, the a lot of people will get the genuine help they need, but there's so so many people going in with problems like diabetes and they're not going to actually get the help that they need because behaviours aren't taken into account because there's not enough time there's not That's enough time and money the fat loss pills do you like, know what I mean exactly people are giving fat loss pills and what it does is suppress your appetite mm -hmm. but they are still fat because the behaviours is exact same. overwritten that people who exact get um, uh, what you call it you, get your, you shrink your stomach so you can't physically eat anymore these people don't lose weight long term because the behaviours haven't been fixed and it's not because call that Oh my god, when you shrink your stomach size, you are. I don't know. Oh my god, why is that annoying me? Think about it. Aye. But see, that, 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 that I'm no slagging the NHS and saying they do a bad job. I'm saying that they don't have enough money, don't have enough resources to actually tackle the genuine problems. Mm. And people are just coming in and leaving with the same problem. Mm. Because there's nothing they can do. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not, they're not the extra support and training is needed. But we don't have the money. No, I don't, I don't know what the answer is because I've got. No, there's I no train, answer. I train, I train a lot of people. Like I've got, um, in fact, a good majority of my clients work in the NHS. They're either um, nurses or they work in the doctors or whatever. Um, and I, I always ask them, I was like, what, what do you think the answer is? And they're like, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They need more staff and I'm fucking hats off to people who go into that no, field because I, I genuinely don't. I don't 100%. Like percent, like that. Every single person in there. Is doing a good job, and they are smashing it. But, but they're like, never trained to but, be. But there's always people in any any job I've ever worked with, anyone I've spoke to in their profession. You've always get people who are in a job, and you're like, you get lazy people that work with you. Aye. So it's oh, just no. like PTs. So you aye, PTs, you bad PTs. Really, so this is this is what I was trying to say, to my client. Like, I think I was like, ah, please go back and get like a second opinion because it was I think it's like well over six months since she's had this. Um, uh, appointment with a dietitian. I was like, ask to see another one, like, cause Aye. that person, like, so to, to, uh, but as we say, you're getting thirty, forty k a year. You've got forty people in for the day. You've got forty people in the next day. Forty people in the next day. Forty people in the next day. You've been doing this four years. Got, there comes a point where you're like, I don't really care that much. <laughs> no, but I'm being serious. There it's comes a, the brutal. I remember it is. There comes a point where you're like, because first for a big corporation like that, it's hard to treat your staff properly. Because they're so they're so big and so and it's funded by the government and the government don't have that much money. Mm. You know what I mean? It's really going in. We're going in deep here. <laughs> we're going in deep. But it's it's not to do with any particular person. Aye. It's to do with the whole organisation and it's run by the government. But like, let's spin this back on its head. Why we start the podcast? Why we do what we do? Mm -hmm. The way to combat this is getting people lifting weights. Mm -hmm. Which means they're Always. going to be healthier long term. Always. They're not going to need as many hospital appointments. They're going to take the fucking strain off. Mate, the my Twitter post today is going to be: there is no magic pill for weight loss, health, and uh, to take away illness or to to stop illness. But you can strength train, you can move more, and you can uh, eat Very better. Very inexpensive. You can eat more. better, and all it takes is effort, right? There's no, but there's no pill to do any of that. Aye. So, on speaking of pills and that, the last one I want to finish on is detoxes. <laughs> I didn't realise this was still a fucking thing. And I'll Aye. tell a story. And whether I've never heard this story enough. <laughs> no, but whether this is this person listens to this or not, or anyone in my circle has actually been thinking about this, I don't care because detoxes is a thing that, like, I it came up in my fucking TikTok feed the other day. And it was a woman and she was fucking huge. She was huge. And she was like, I put this seed. Oh, yeah, I've seen Did that. You see that? I've seen I that. put this seed on my belly button and I put a bit of tape over and it, it shows a wee image of the Aye. person shrinking down. Mm -hmm. And then it was the same woman taking a picture 
and she and she was fucking in good shape. And I was like, what the fuck was that? There was lipo and all that involved. Right. Like, I was like, what the fuck anyway? So back to detoxes. Um, this is when I was working in a gym. People will know what gym it is, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> wonder, wonder <laughs> what gym gym. did you work in? And a PT came up to me and was like, well, "Can I ask you a question?" I'm like, "Hi," and like, I also get a lot of clients in that. Like, can I ask you like, how do you work out your clients' detox protocol? <laughs> And I, I was making some food and I was like, fuck you talk about? Like, what do you mean? No, you know me, I'm not like, I'm not getting any con- confrontation with somebody like instantly. I'm, I'm quite soft, like, I, I don't know like, what the word is, but I'm, I'd err in the side of being nice and kind of tiptoeing around, but this was the time. I was like, what do you mean? What do you talk about? And she's like, well, I thought like, you, people will need to cleanse their bodies. And I was like, no, they don't. And I like, no, they do. And this was, I was like, we were getting, was getting heated. It's just like, no, but you need to, you need to kind of get all the all the negative toxins out of the body, and I was like, what negative toxins? And you mate, about? I was that that speechless with it. I found myself that I was like, I can't even communicate the point I'm trying to fucking make. So anyway, it's that because was like, it's something you don't even think about. Mate, you know, I know. Mate, you're like, need to think. It's that. like somebody got it. Right. Um, how do you? How do you speak English? <laughs> I was like, I just fucking, it's just how it's just we do it. Like, that's what, like, it was so, like, I couldn't believe it. And I was like, oh my God, this is an actual PT doing that. Mm. And detoxes, for all intents and purposes, are a load of shite. There is no tea, there is no powder, there is no detox that most people need to, um, detox to, to, always to, to lose I made my voice today. Detox always made me feel worse. Because it strips you everything. So, it like, can't just go into your body and go, Right, you, ping pong. <laughs> you stay, you're a good ping man. Ping you stay, pong. right, you stay, you're a good, aye, but you fuck off. So, like, you know what I mean? Right, let's start where it has its value because there's a tiny, tiny wee bit of value for a small percentage of people where green teas and the kind of mellow aspect of this is where we start. But I'd say just green tea is just good for you. No, but this is where we start getting into gut health and, aye, aye, and there's aye. a wee bit of spirituality, or aye, if that's aye. the right word, like mellow note. And, and all you're doing there is bringing your stress levels down. Right. And as a byproduct of bringing your stress levels down, you fucking see a wee bit of weight loss because that way you've not had good sleep. Right. And this is where this is where people miss the point with. Right. Um, but I, I kind of like detoxes to this day. Don't should, work. No. They, for, Fuck them. No. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Get them to fuck. Get them to fuck. I'm actually trying to think. There's, there's a client now I'm thinking of and I'm like, she See, to be honest, with you, no client I've ever had has been to, who's done detox. No, oh, there's I, no safety no, way to have. I think I do have a client. But I know people have done it. So I've got a client who who will watch this back, and I think she has some element of this in our practice. So I'm going to actually speak to her and see, like, I'm going to actually ask her, like, I'm going to ask, like, what is it you do with that? Like, what is it? Because, uh, look, in all honesty, like the research that I've looked into. And it's been very minimal because I don't have a huge interest. I, my mind is pretty much made up with right. it. But that's unfair for me as a coach who's saying, like, you know what? I will hear I an argument need, on the other side. You always need to listen to the other person Aye. just to see if you can take it in. Now, in that, in that case, like, I was like, like, you've got, like, the detox. Bullshit! Is the, <laughs> a detox is the last thing people should be worrying about. Oh, no. Move no. more and lift weights. Oh, let's, start, let's start the there. Simple things. Before, I big rocks. This Aye. is the like, thing, like, let's tackle your You're sleep. Like that. <laughs> you're ch- you're looking at pebbles. And you're like, ah, looks like <laughs> well, exactly. Like when you're looking at the big rocks, there's big things you need to factor in: your sleep, mm-hmm. your nutrition, how much you move, and lifting weights. Right, right. there. Like there's other things that are important when it comes to health and fitness, like blue blocking glasses at night, like salt lamps, fucking cold plunges. These are things that are good for your health, but like think it like if you're not if you're getting no, they, no they're the big ones. Where's the point? I, if you're getting four hours of sleep a night. Cold plunges, they've got to fucking sort your life with me. Ah, so, so, somebody, somebody did say to me the other day, should I be taking creatine, should I be taking this, should I be taking that? I go, see, be honest. You don't, you I said, you don't. Go to the gym twice, please, I said, for me. I said, you don't even do this, you don't even do that. I'm like, ah, don't know. I said, see, if you start doing all these, then I start taking it. But it's going to, you just got to ruin it when you drink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm actually glad this is all. Me and James take terms of editing podcasts, and this had probably, I think this might be up there with one of the longest podcasts that we've done. What we time do we start? I don't know, I don't know, but we're interested to see, but right. you're, you're editing this one. Well, no, <laughs> right, anyway, let's wrap it up there. So thanks, as always, for tuning in. Thanks for our, your support, for your shares on Instagram, for your comments on YouTube. Do you have any other fitness diets or fitness trends that should die leave a comment below and as always you can find us on instagram you can find me at coach crosser you can find me at roger fit so we'll see you guys on the next one have a nice one